Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Rafinha talking about this great news, as it has been reported that Barcelona have finally reached a total agreement with Leeds for Rafinha. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, talking about Usman Dembele, it has been reported that Dembele's renewal with Barcelona is currently in the final stages and could be announced this week. We are going to be looking at that as well. Before we discuss those stories, I want to encourage you guys to please join the very best and most trustworthy betting site on the planet, 1xbet, where you are offered up to 200% bonus when you make your initial deposit. You know, stand a chance to be one of those lucky winners in an everyday outstanding jackpot that are waiting to be won. All you need to do is just complete a small daily tax, for example, a small bet on a specified soccer match and you will definitely have a chance at winning huge catch prices. Down below on the description box, you can find the link there and please register so that you don't miss this opportunity. After a long drawn out saga, Barcelona and Leeds United have finally reached a total agreement over the transfer of Rafinha. According to Mundo Deportivo, the two clubs have been going back and forth in negotiations for the 25 year old Brazilian, with the entry of Chelsea into the mix making matters just complicated for Barcelona. Chelsea had an agreement over a 75 million euro deal with Leeds United for the winger. But the player's insistence on joining Barca meant that there was no progress on that front, while allowing the Catalans time to put together a package to convince the Whites. After much negotiations and haggling, it seems like the two teams have reached full agreement for the transfer of Rafinha. As per the report, Barcelona will pay Leeds United a fixed sum of 58 million euros plus 7 million euros in variables to secure the services of the former Sporting Lisbon and Ren Ace, taking the total value of that deal to 65 million euros. Several different figures have been mentioned by different outlets in the past. However, the amounts quoted by Mundo Deportivo are similar to what Italian journalist Gianluigi Longari reported earlier in the day. Fabrizio Romano has also claimed that Barca will be shelling out a fixed sum of 58 million euros, but he states that the value, total value of that deal will be around 68 million euros, including add-ons. Leeds United had superior offers from not only Chelsea, but also Arsenal and Tottenham. However, Rafinha's stance of wanting to join Barcelona forced the Premier League club to accept a lower bid for his services. Rafinha has already agreed a five-year contract with Barcelona, which will run until the summer of 2027, with there being a full agreement in place between the two clubs. Barcelona can hope to, you know, get the deal across the line before they fly out to the United States for the pre-season tour. Definitely that is a plan from Xavi and Co to make sure that this deal is wrapped up before they can go to the United States for their pre-season. What a signing this will be for us, which is already looking very close. So total agreement is reached, 58 million euros fixed, 7 million euros in add-ons. So we have every reason now to celebrate that one of the most talked about transfers for us this summer is coming to a reality. And now we are talking about a player with so much quality, a player that will add so much value to the team. Brazilians, we know their history in Barcelona is so brilliant. And of course, we are seeing the, the first Brazilian as a winger at Barcelona since the departure of Neymar. Of course, we hope that he will bring the very best. Barca have been so convinced of this guy for many months, for many, many months. And just lucky enough for us that Rafinha is a Barca fan. Rafinha loves Barcelona with all his heart. No matter Chelsea, whatever how much, like no matter the offer Chelsea could have made for him when it comes to salary, Rafinha's desire to join Barcelona, it was like a main factor that really held Chelsea back, not to even further their talks. Even though an agreement was already made with Leeds between with Chelsea, but to move on with that deal was not easy because um, Deco is agent and Rafinha himself had already made an agreement, personal agreement with Barcelona. So as it stands right now, Leeds have finally made a total agreement with Barca and 
just for the fact that the player favors a move to Barca has been a great factor to this deal. So we are expecting everything to be wrapped up as soon as possible and Barca will prefer that deal to be, to be confirmed and announced before Barca embark on their tour for pre-season in the United States of America. So let's just hope that this opens the door for many, many more signings, quality signings for Barca. Of course, we all know our target this summer and talking about Lewandowski, Kunde, you know, Aspelo Queta. We just hope that the deal for Rafinha that is looking now as imminent as ever will open the doors for Barca to get all, I mean, all of their transfer targets because if Xavi do get his hands on the players that he wanted, all of them, not missing a single one, then let's see how Xavi will sell this team next season. Let's see how we will progress next season because that will bring a lot of expectations from fans, a lot, a lot, because the players that were Barca targets are getting to Barcelona, very likely. So. Fingers crossed, hoping that the summer will be a great success for us. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona are edging closer to confirming the resigning of French player Ousmane Dembélé after letting his contract run out at the end of last month. The club and the player had been in discussions of an extension for months, but an agreement could be reached. Eventually, Ousmane Dembélé's contract ran out on June 30 and he became a free agent. However, with not many takers for Dembélé and the faith shown by Barcelona manager Xavi in him, have seemingly convinced the 2018 FIFA World Cup winner to accept the contract offered tabled by Barca. Dembélé will be signing a two-year contract with Barcelona, which will largely be performance-based as per report. Now, RAC1 has provided a fresh update on the situation claiming that there is a total agreement between Dembele and Barcelona over the new contract with the only thing pending is the winger's signature. In the meantime, the former Borussia Dortmund ace has requested permission from the club to continue training at the Suita Desportiva complex, you know, which the Black Grana have agreed to, although the Frenchman has been asked to train away from the group by himself. Despite everything being in order, the report from RAC1 states that an official announcement is not yet imminent, the reasons for which have not been mentioned. In the meantime, Barcelona have reached full agreement with Leeds United for signing Rafinha in a deal worth 58 to 70 to, uh, 58 million euros plus 7 million euros in total. The Brazilian's impending arrival is unlikely to have any effect whatsoever on the situation regarding Ousmane Dembele, as manager Javi believe that the duo can coexist in his lineup. The former Ren prodigy Dembele has built some, you know, some, some bad rap among the fans for the way the contract situation has been allowed to drag on and it will be up to him to win them over again when he takes the field as a Barcelona player again next season. Of course, it is obvious that many Barca fans will not be happy with Usman Dembele from the very start of next season. From the way the contract saga have been, you know, showing no respect for this club whatsoever, uh, I mean for a higher salary, something that at the end of the day he did not achieve. That is the good, the, that's even the best part about everything, right? Now he's the one going according to what Barcelona wants. So as it stands, they are saying that the deal is not yet finalized, but definitely he will sign that two-year contract extension, which is performance-based, how much they'll be paying him. So what is remaining now is his signature, before Barca can make an official announcement on the same. So let's see how it goes. But um, any day in this week, it will not be surprising to see Dembele finally um, signing that contract officially. And a verbal agreement has already been made. So the player and his camp need to come now and physically sign that agreement. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.